So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. Obviously, we also have this very long question here, so it's a word problem. So there might be some elements of the strategy I call translate word problem. But first, let's look at the diagram. So it's a graph, and there's no titles for the x-axis or the y-axis, which actually is a p-axis and the y-axis. Um, we'll simply go in increments of 3 starting at 0, and the same in the y-axis, in increments of 3 starting at 0. So the information here says Aaliyah sells nature photos and videos. She receives a fixed amount for each photo she sells and a different fixed amount for each video she sells. All right. The graph models the possible numbers of photos P and videos V. Aaliyah can sell to receive $300. Okay, so let me just stop there to make sure I understand. So if I follow this graph, it looks like I have a point here, which would say, okay, if she sells six videos, this is the V axis actually here. She sells six videos and zero photos, she'll make $300. And way over here, if she sells 15 photos and zero videos, she'll also make $300. That's how I understand that. Um, and then there's, of course, plenty of points in between as well. Aaliyah can sell to receive $300. Which equation represents this situation? Okay, so it looks like the, um, which equation? All right, so these are not linear equations. That's the first thing. I thought they would be linear equations, but they're not. So I am going to use a strategy called plug in information from the question. In this case, from the graph itself. So I've already pointed out the information that I can use. For instance, this point right here tells me that when V number of videos equals six, then P should equal zero, and then we should get 300, right? 300, somehow P and V having these values should end up leading us to this $300 that she makes. So I don't think that's gonna work for choice A, right? Because six times, right? Six times zero or zero times six does not equal 300, so that's gone. Choice B, if 20 times zero, well, that's whole, and 50 times Z, 50 times six, that is equal to 300. So I like that, at least it does work. How about for choice C? P is zero, so this whole thing becomes zero. 20 times six is only 120. So 120 does not equal 300, so C is gone. And then choice D, 15 times zero, times zero is zero. Six times V, six times six is 36. And again, 36 does not equal 300 as well, so D is gone, and therefore choice B is the best answer here. So just realize that anytime you have a graph, you can always take an ordered pair out of that graph, use that to plug into the answer choices in order to find the correct answer.